Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here, and this is episode 10 of our permadeath playthrough in the story mode. Um, we're doing mostly in the story mode, I suppose. We're not really doing it uh, strictly to the story, I suppose, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Anyway, so we're going to pick up where we left off on our last episode. We are... Uh, as you can see, here's our log. We're going to keep expanding the base and get as far as we can. We're going to hold off on the planet in distress. It's the only thing that we're really going to hold off on. And then we'll uh, continue on with this whole storyline. Let's see where we can get with this. So, things are aligning. We are ready now for a Gek farmer to join us. Indeed, I've already prepared their con contract. All you need to do is gather the selenium required to finalize their workstation. So we need selenium. Merchant... Agastunin grows in confidence and seeks again to expand my home. I find it hard to disagree with them, or a farmer would open up a world of possibilities. The overseer needs selenium to complete the agricultural terminal plans. Selenium grows on scorched planets and requires hazmat gauntlets to hire uh, to harvest. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Selenium is not easy to acquire in the wild, but this only proves the value of, of recruiting a farmer. Okay, so... Let's see, that should allow us to put in... Yep, now we have the hazmat gauntlet uh, item in there. We really need to expand our exosuit and start making more room for stuff. So, let's see, we need chromatic metal and sodium nitrate of 20. We got the chromatic metal, we'll need 20 sodium nitrate. Uh, let's see, which requires 40. There we go. <clears throat> we'll get that started. Uh, let's see. It looks like we get some stuff on our inventory. Can we build... Let's see. Yes, we can. Didn't we already build one of those? Or we have we not built a... We have not. Okay, so we can build one of these. We're going to need magnetized and sodium. Let's go ahead and put it out here like I usually do. And we need to run power to it, which is going to be here to there. I guess that did not give us power. I'm not sure. Let me see what we get in here. What did I run it to? Oh, I ran it to there. No, oh, that's weird. Okay, let's run it to uh, the battery. There we go. Okay, so we got power to it now. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and get our refiner. And finish our hazmat gauntlets. It is now complete. So we're going to use this to put some stuff away. But we definitely don't need the pugnium on us. There is a way to jump it over. We see quick transfer. X. There we go. X. We don't need the planetary charts. Sentinel boundary mats. I'm going to hang on to that. We should be able to sell that too. We'll hang on to that and the cargo bulkhead. Alright, so that gives us enough stuff to go by. Okay. Alright. Let's go, go, uh, go get selenium. We can only get it from a hot planet. Why is it telling me there's a nearby building waypoint? To discover. Okay, well, I'll do that real quick. Alright, there we go. We have to construct a cylindrical room for our base. Alright, so let's see, where should we put that? Uh, this, what do we need? Pure ferrite of 250. How much ferrite do we have on us? 350. We'll need more ferrite, so let's make sure we get some. Ferrite dust. It's a sentinel over there, so we'll go elsewhere. Oh, well, there was a rock there, and suddenly the rock is not there. That was weird. Really? I went over here purposely to get away from the drones. Ah, uh, looks like we got some rocks over here. That's the rock I thought I saw. 
pure ferrite. So we need 250 of it. We're going to go ahead and just grab some from this. <clears throat> now that we have our, our multi-tool thing that gives us uh, the ability to get these higher end items. and trying for pure ferrite. There we go. Some nice ferrite dust, a little dihydrogen to go with it. Usually when it gets heated up like that too, you get more out of it. So let me take a look at something. Isn't this multi-tool... it's a B-class. Oh, wait a second. I know what happened. We acquired a multi-tool at one time. Was it this one? Let's take a look. There's our multi-tool. That's the multi-tool we should have been using all along. How weird. There we go. I was wondering what was going on. I forgot we acquired more multi-tools. Because I'm thinking to myself, wait a second, I've got... A sentinel ship. Shouldn't I have a sentinel multi-tool? Yeah. That happened. Alright, where is my... Oh, man, it's on the other side. There we go. Okay, not to worry about the thermal protection now. Okay, it looks like we have the... We almost have enough pure ferrite. Okay, well, that's good. Um, we have a lot of ferrite. I just realized that. Okay, good. So, ferrite dust. We don't need too much. We need about uh, 50, 40 of it. 39, something like that. But I'm going to make some extra. That way I have it on hand. And we're going to leave it behind. We're not going to bring any with us. And we'll go from there. Alright, that should be good for now. Let's just pull that in. And we're going to make this... We're going to put a door here, I think. Not that kind of door. Let's put... That kind of door. So, first thing we need to do is we need to remove... That. That. Okay, we'll put the wall back up. Okay, we need to move our starship. Okay. All kinds of problems here. So, we need to fix this. Uh, we'll use one of those. Let's hover. And park on the space provided. One of these days we'll make our own uh, landing pad as well. There we go. And we need a door. Probably right here will work. Yeah, that works. Oh, need more pure ferrite for that. Go figure. There we go. Okay. The other thing we're going to need is we're going to need electrical wire running to it. 
Now I have that hidden thing. I'll put it here. And we'll run it all the way to this. There we go. And now we can go inside. And it has light and power. Excellent. Okay. Okay, so we can return to Apollo now, even though we haven't quite completed everything yet. Ooh, you know what? Let me take a look at our inventory in here. We don't need that in there. Let's put that elsewhere, that elsewhere, that elsewhere, that elsewhere, that elsewhere. I'll hang on to that for now. Get an ion battery. Why is that in that inventory? It should be over here. Uh, let's see. We'll keep that in here. We don't need that in there. We don't need that in there. And I think we're just about full on our inventory. Yeah. Let's put some stuff away. This is good to always, you know, uh, uh, make up this stuff as we go. I'll go ahead and put that away too while I'm thinking of it. And I have one chromatic metal. That's fascinating. Okay. Alright, looks good. Alright, that looks a lot better. Because we use pyrite. This can go in our other inventory as well. That can go there. We have a port. We got that. We're going to hang on to that. That. This goes up here. We're going to keep our chromatic metal down here. Okay, that looks good. There. Okay. Put this last couple items away. And where is it? Copper. Okay, good. There. Alright, that looks a little better. We're a little more organized now. Okay. Alright, excellent. So let's take a look at our log real quick. So we were expanding our base. We do need selenium, so let's continue to expand the base. We'll come back to Apollo in a little bit. Uh, we have to get to a hot planet to do that. <clears throat> Found on Scorched Worlds, as it says. All right, let's check the worlds in our own system. We haven't uh, we discovered all of them. We got uh, Sub Zero. We got uh, Silver Fecium, Frost. We have one that we haven't discovered yet, Gamma Root. So this is an unknown planet. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, looks like Apollo wants to talk. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. We're what are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You can find anti clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures that Sentinels, uh, the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these anti clusters with merchants and space stations to get the technology you need. Okay. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force, force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift, my little investment into our partnership. Okay. Yeah, I don't like those personal force fields. They're a pain in the neck. All right, so we're going to go back over here and go back to what we were trying to do. Uh, let's see what planets we've got around us. So there's this one. That's the one we have not scanned yet. And it's an airless planet. So that's not... We don't have a planet in the system that we're going to find that has a... Uh, scorched uh, surface. Everything else is too cold. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go somewhere else. Let's check some of the other systems out that we've been to. Let's see. Let's go to the space station. Maybe we'll start there. because I don't want, just want to go to hyperspace real quick. So we're going to go ahead and save some of our hyperfuel. We're going to choose a system we've been to before. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see what we can find here.
All right. So, previous space stations. Uh, let's see, that was the previous system. Let's just take a look at it. We had five planets there. Doesn't really tell us what it is. Rinsky Quan Prime. Okay, let's take a look, shall we? There we go. And we didn't even check any of the planets in that system. Let's take a look. Take a look. Okay, that's a system we've been to. Okay, we don't have any clue there. Okay, what about you? Dissonance, nothing special. This is the system we're in now. Alright, maybe we should just go to another system then. Because uh, I'm not finding any of the, uh, the scorched planets that we're really interested in finding here. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, so it's not giving us much in the way of planets we can check out. So we're going to have to look for one on our own. That's a pirate system. If you look closely next to the Corvax, it's a little skull symbol there. Okay. That's a prospect pros prospecting system. I can't talk anymore. That's got five worlds on it. Let me see if we can just find one more system that might be even more populous. Now that's a three-star system, but it's dissonant. Doesn't necessarily mean we won't find what we're looking for, but let's take a look. At least one planet there will be dissident. But if we're fortunate, we'll find a hot planet, too. Alright. So far, looking pretty good. That's the dissident planet. It's a sporo planet. So there's not going to be any ships or anything on it. So it's kind of useless to us in that sense. Uh, star bulb. Nope. This looks like a cold planet. Yep. There's one back there. Fungus. Among us. And we've already checked that one out. So that's one, two, three, four. I could have swore there was a fifth planet. Guess there's not. All right. Let's go to the next one. And we don't necessarily have to go to a system that has three stars, but... Yeah, but there's a better chance of finding what we're looking for. Let's see what we can find here. Anytime now. And there we go. Allergic, so there's nothing there. That looks like a cold planet. Yeah, I can already see frost crystals. Have we been here? Fungal. There's a moon behind it or another planet. That one's way out there. Yes. And what about you? Whatever you got going on looks like a storm at the moment. Leak. And then we're back to this guy, right? Yeah. 
All right, so let's get behind this one and just see if the planet that's behind it is uh, worth our time. <clears throat> Whoa. Lifeless. Okay. Very interesting. We're going to be getting ourselves into a space battle soon if we keep going. Alright, I'm looking for something with a lot of planets. How about this one? This one looks like it's got a few moons on it. Four planets, two moons. Let's give it a shot. See what we find there. Hmm. Somewhat promising. Hopper, magnetized ferrite. Little planet in the distance there. That might be the moon. That's a moon. Gamma, so uranium. There's another one right here. Another moon. Scalding, selenium. That's the place we want to go. Alright, let's head there. Plus, being a moon, we can find stuff on it a little bit easier. Looks like there might be a storm brewing on it. Okay, whoa, slow it down. And storm crystals. So that means even more worrisome for us. Alright, selenium is a fairly easy element to discover. It's a plant. And you can find it very easily. I'm not so interested in trying to find these guys. Oh, I think I see some selenium in the distance there. Yeah, that looks like a selenium deposit. Right in front of us. Yes, it is. And a bunch of storm crystals too. I'm gonna land right on top of this rock. Or not. Let's see how long we can survive outdoors. Be good, we're alright. Very good though, we had protection for it. There's our selenium, we got an extra five more of those uh, storm crystals, so that's going to be handy for us. And I want to gather uh, extra solar vine because it's needed. Okay, good. There we go. That should be everything from here. <clears throat> okay. How are we doing on nanites? Is finding creatures on this planet worth our time? Eight. I've discovered three creatures. And we've got a building nearby. Four creatures. Usually these planets like to have a lot of flying creatures on them, but that's not always the case. Okay. How we doing? Uh, two ground, two underground. Okay. We had a building nearby, did not we? Yes, this one there. Let's head over there on foot. We'll pull our ship in if we have to. Take another look. Okay, 
highly intelligent, likes leaves. Careful hunter. Uh, let's see if this guy's mean. No? Okay, good. That's a good thing. That's uh, one of these buildings. Okay. All right. Take a quick look around. I'm not going to worry about going after that. If it was one of the bigger ones, I would probably worry about it. But Okay. So, not much to find here. And the two underground creatures would be a pain in the neck to find unless we can find a cave. And even then, I guarantee it'll take a while to find them. So, let's head back to the ship. I'm not going to call it in. Because our jetpack is much better now. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. And there we go. That wasn't too terrible. Okay, so it says to return to the Overseer. We're going to do that via... Uh, the space station here, I think, would be a better idea. There it is. There we go. There we go. All right. Reorient myself. Good. Okay. Coming in for Doc. All right. So we'll head back to our space, or our own base, and we're going to create a farmer's place to go to. A farming stand? No, that's not it. Agricultural station. Too cold days, right? Any time now. There we go. Okay, we're back. So we got to talk to the Overseer. It is good to see you, friend. I trust the Vikings' technology kept you safe. I have the selenium required to finish the plans for the farmer's workstation. It'll be interesting to see what effect the second Gek will have on my Overseer. I can imagine they have spent much time conversing with the scientist or the armor. Ah, the farm. We shall exploit the earth free at last from the Sentinels and practice the glory of trade. There's our terminal. Chromatic metal, condensed carbon, which we have both of. Once you have secured our farmer, you will want you will want to trade unhindered, unhindered, to profit, profit more glorious harvest without being dragged to and fro. Never fear, friend, for I shall make it so. All I require are a few circuit boards to finish the plans for a trade terminal of our own. You always here request circuit boards in order to create a galactic trade terminal blueprint. The Korvac scientist should be able to provide the necessary parts. I do not have the zeal for trade that seems to seize the Gek. Nonetheless, it would be convenient to tap into the galactic market from right here in my home. <coughs> okay. So we're going to create the terminal over here. Uh, where are we here? Here? No? Here? Here? There it is. It's going to be down here. Cultural terminal. And there it is. Okay, so we got the agricultural terminal. I'm thinking we need to put a landing platform here. What do you think? Let's see. What do we have to make it with? Do we have the ability? Yes, we do. We need two microprocessors and ten metal plates. We got the money. We can't buy it here. 
All right. Two microprocessors. Do need two carbon nanotubes to do. And there they are. One, two, and then metal plates. A lot of ferrite dust. All right. So we're going to build that. Where? Not a lot of room here. Let's do it here. It's gonna be an odd place to have it, but it should work. Okay. We may have to just leave it separate. There we go. And what we'll do as a as a precaution. There we go. And then we can call our ship in. And from now on, anytime we come to our base, our ship will be right here. Okay. So we're all set. Okay. So we have to acquire a circuit board. Uh, let's see what it requires. We need a heat capacitor and polyfiber. Okay. Heat capacitor requires a lot of selenium and frost crystals. Okay, so I don't think we're going to be building this anytime soon because we have to build the selenium. So let's get our armor, I guess. Let's see where it takes us. Galaxy map. Okay, let's go get our farmer. Not the most exciting episode in the world here, folks, but we're getting there. <laughs> Looks like there's our farmer there. Okay. And we'll hit the space station here and pick up our farmer. Okay. And we're probably going to have to continue on with our storyline. I think we'll do that in the next episode. Episode 11, we'll do the storyline more. And then every other episode, we'll work on our base. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. There we go. Right there. I can't use my pulse drive. We'll put power to the engines and get here as quickly as we can. There we go. Like I said, this isn't the most exciting episode this time around, folks. So, But we're building. We're building. That's the important part. We're expanding and building. Okay. All right. Farmer offers to join my world and make use of my agricultural terminal. I'm sorry I didn't read all that. Thank you, friend. Neither you nor your stomach shall regret it. Well, okay then. You say so, my friend. 
Now, do we need anything? We could use an upgrade. Let's check the terminal over there and upgrade our exosuit. I keep forgetting to do that because we really need the upgrades for our exosuit. We're dangerously short on that area. Good. And I think we want to put it up here next is what we said, didn't we? Now let's fill in these two gaps down there. All right. And we can get back to our base via the portal. Save ourselves a little hyperspace juice. I turned off the lights so nobody can see what I'm doing over here in front of this glowing orb. And here we go. Any time now. There. Okay. So we get to go meet our farmer. This is a home of glass and metal, Traveler. It is in dire need of my touch, but no need to fear. I shall come well equipped for such work. I come well equipped. Okay. Okay. Your first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt, friend. The earth provides life and death after all. Take this hydroponics tray and these gut rot flower seeds. Grow the flower and see how fine it feels to produce life. Gekoa is already bedding in nicely. They have already given me the means to beautify my home. If I provide, prove myself a worthy farmer with this gut rot flower, perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets. Wonderful, my friend. So soon our home will be filled with the delicate perfume for which this planet was named. Gut rot? Really? Okay, so we're going to develop the little tray. We, again, we need to do two more metal plates. We're running dangerously low on stuff. We'll put it there. And then we can do the gut rot flower, which needs fecium. Of course it needs fecium. Think we got some? I don't quite remember. We do not. This we can turn into fecium, but need 40 fecium, and that's only going to give us about 15. So... We need to look for animals. Okay, let's see if these guys, which are plant-eating animals, will produce poop. feed them, we can do that. Hey, don't scare the animals. Well, I'll be. It worked. And they start doing that, and then poop. Okay. Now, if we just drop it like that, we'll get more animals eating. How much feces we have? We have 26. We just need two more poops. Now, we could find ourselves a planet that has feces deposits and just harvest it, but this will work. Okay, 
here's one he's about to drop and they should drop a second one there we go yeah the little guy's gonna do it too There we go, that should get us enough. Alright. Okay, we have the Fecian to build it. There we go, we've got a plant. How is the gut rot flower, friend? Does it bloom? Is it heavy with fruit? We can hand in the 25 Fecium. Beautiful friend, we shall make a farmer of you yet. While I prepare a dish of arrogant wonder, another agricultural challenge awaits you. Frostwort. So we will pick these, trick these plants up as we go. We'll need a lot of them. And we will... Uh, frostwort is a tricky thing, friend. It flourishes while the plants fail. Thrusting its roots through the ice and snow, but such a hard life is not for us. Plant one here in your home and be spared the pain of winter. Workek Oa asked me to grow a frost, frost work plant and prove our hydroponic system can replicate any environment. We'll accept that. Wonderful friend, it is a delicate thing to look at for such a hardy plant. Please do enjoy it. So we will do that as we go. I'm going to gather up plants as we go around the systems. Now that we can acquire all kinds of different things. And we will put this into our inventory. I don't think we have anything left really to be honest. Yeah, four. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. We'll hang on to this in case we need to gather more stuff. We're going to need more ferrite dust as time goes by. But for now, let's get on with things. So, before we expand more of the base, let's go ahead and... We have to install his personal force field, which we really don't feel like doing, but we'll do it anyway. But then I'm going to uninstall it. We need to raid abandoned buildings. Let's go do that next. Notice our ship ended up on the landing platform, which is a good thing. We gotta return to space. We gotta go there. Thought I'd just use up some of that stuff. We are going to have to hit a dissonant world sooner or later and we'll replenish our supplies. Now that's an approximate location, so we need to look for an abandoned building. That is a training trading outpost. Is that an abandoned building? It is. Okay, so before we land there, we're going to go over here and utilize their landing pad. There we go. And of course, while we're here... Always want to check, see what kind of things they've got. Wow, an A-class, huh? Nice. But I've got what I need. Okay. Let's head that way. Did we discover all the animals on this planet? I guess we did. Any moment now, we'll come over that rise. Find what we're looking for. There we go. OK. 
Okay, always check around the roof. Yeah, we've been here before, haven't we? Okay, we looks like it says we've already collected them. Okay. Very strange. Let's go ahead and head back to our ship. Interesting. Here we go. That was pretty easy. Over to the space station, so we gotta go to the multi-tool merchant for some reason. go. And we're slowly coming to the end of our episode here, too. The technology dealer is keen to show me their stock. Their new stock, a powerful modification for my multi-tool. I'm going to offer 60 nanites. And what did we get? We got an S-Class bolt caster module, which is very, very nice, because that's what I'm using. Okay, let's see what kind of upgrade. Uh, plus one, plus two, plus one, 15, 14. One, 15, 13 reload time. Fire raid. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay, let's get rid of this one. So, what is it? 3581 is our damage potential here. 37, 31. Nice. 3874. Okay, so that's good. We'll leave it there. Gives us even more damage. Okay, we're good there. So, what's next? Okay, we installed it, yes. Now what? Turn to space, make contact with Apollo. Let's go. <clears throat> you're not alone. I know you, Traveler. I know you're, where you've been. I know where you're going. There's no need to hurry. You will find us when the time is right. Okay. Oh, there it is. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't one going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. We are going to confirm that. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a dead giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. Synthetics delight in espionage. Buff. I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were. But this is no, no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left. Everything was transferred to the shell. This is who I am. Ask how that happened. I took my revenge when the time came. This is all you need to know. So, start from the hypothesis that the sentinel... Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a secret 
Corvax facility. They are both robotic life forms, too much in common, too much coincidence. Enter the facility, and pardon me, enter the factory and hack the terminal within. We gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes of that on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Apollo nods at me. For the first time, I sense respect in their gesture. The approximate coordinates for the hidden facility are logged into my starship's navigation computer. Okay. Well. Oh, well, there it is. What do you know? The planet has fecium on it. Go figure. We might want to get more, I don't know, while we're over there. So we'll be checking planets as we go along, and if we find plants on them that are going to be very useful to us, we'll go ahead and take them. So we'll go ahead and finish this particular mission, and then we're going to call it for this episode. Okay. So as we get close, we need to do a quick scan. Probably going to be that building. Yeah, that looks like it. You know it even more so if there's any sentinels floating around it. Yep, you see there's a sentinel over there on the left. Reinforced door. And we're in. Grab some nanites. Encrypted navigation data, which usually is more nanites, and sometimes navigation data. Alright, we're good. Let's see what we can get out of this. Now we need sodium, which we got. We need pure ferrite, and we need chromatic metal. We need 13 more pure ferrite. We don't have necessary materials. And if we build one, we'll st we definitely won't have necessary materials. I need metal. Need rocks. So we need 13 more pure ferrite. is an upgrade module from exosuit however i find no clues for a few clues few clues for apollo seems the corvax within the left this world many days ago apparently recalled on priority transmission to their species flotilla something has them worried Rub the logs they seems to have been more than just a factory it was a home to the corvax who lived within its walls it appears that they were experimenting with the autonomy from their collective video feeds it's movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light on it. Shine a light on it. It's a small hairy creature shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner. Vestiges of food upon a small dish. Even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. We'll just feed him. Feed the creature. Nervously, it takes the carbon and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs off much of its little meal, only to try to continue the process, shivering with every mouthful. We move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. 
Okay. Something I want to do. There we go. Get me some, uh, some stuff. Because the salvage glass comes in handy if we can do it. Oh, let me... Okay, good. Hello. I heard something. Oh, him. Excellent. I mean, I would really like to get a combat unit. You know, one of those walker brains. But I don't know if I can afford to keep doing this. Hmm. I think we should leave well enough alone. What do you think? Thinking we should. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I think we're going to hold off doing anything more. And we'll go ahead and just leave this be. Because otherwise, we're going to have a fight on our hands we probably can't uh, do anything with. Alright, there we go. So we will return to space. Oh, for the love of Pete. got ourselves some credits out of that so that's good so we're gonna make uh, contact with Apollo and then we're gonna go ahead and head to the space station and uh, call it and we'll pick up where we left off in the next episode nice good work your attack on the factory paid off did you get any useful data say no no matter we have what we need I recorded countless signal flares when the Sentinel started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. While Tunier scattered the Sentinel energy signals, we shall soon have our prey. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. Okay. So, that should do it. Um, we will bring a word to the anomaly, and when I land there, we'll call this episode completed. Getting a little extra Quicksilver is always a nice thing. There we go. Alright. Well, folks, thank you very much for watching episode 10 of our Permadeath playthrough. It'll get more exciting as we go, especially as we do more and more of these missions. We're going to go through everything, the Atlantid missions, uh, the Echoes. We're going to do everything as we go through to the center of the galaxy. So we're going to work our way all the way through. We will complete out this mission. It'll drop us into another galaxy. Then we'll work our way to the center. Um, we'll go through all the different things. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please hit the like and subscribe, and we will see you again in the next 
video. Thank you very much, folks. Take care.